Howdy y'all, Joel Hansen here guys, and today we are at the legendary, yes, the absolute legendary original location of Salt Lake Barbecue. So I've been wanting to come here for a long time. We have featured the other location on here quite a while ago. That being said, why are we here when there's so many other amazing barbecue places around? Well, not only is this a legendary spot, and it is very, very good, I have to give them that, but because they offer a all-you-can-eat family-style meal. Yes, an all-you-can-eat barbecue. The price is about $30, but you have all the brisket, you have all the ribs, all the sausage, all the sides being like coleslaw, uh, beans, and potato salad that you want, which is absolutely amazing, super, super awesome. So like I said, here at the original Driftwood location, this looks awesome, the place is so rustic, they have the cellars, they have a winery here, it is like, it's super cool. Um, also, I have guys, I have my official hat, my first Stetson guys. So, of course, I'm rocking that while we're in Texas. It's hard to, uh, it's hard to get, a, get away with wearing a cowboy hat in a lot of other places, but here we are, so let's go on and let's have some fun. I'm so excited, Texas barbecue, you know, is my absolute favorite thing, and if you don't know that, now you do. By the way, happy healthy hungry, check out that merch, guys, joeleats.com, grab yourself something today. So with that, let's head on in, let's have some fun, and of course, let's eat some food. Underruns are the chair with the first plates, so lucky enough, they started me off with two. So I went with the uh, fatty brisket to start. We also got the pork ribs. I have some sausage, and each plate has a little bit of each. Um, and we also got some burnt ends. So with the brisket, you can pick the lean, the fatty, or the burnt ends. I went with fatty and burnt ends, which look very delicious. I'm sure they're very smoky. And uh, that's about that. So let's have some fun, let's eat some food. And all you can eat barbecue, let's get this thing started. How do we start with the burnt end? That's just too good. So burnt in is a fattier end of a brisket, which generally they cut off, sometimes they recook them. Lots of fat. This one has a really like crunchy crust to it. Oh man, but that fat is so like nicely rendered. Try some of the fatty brisket. Oh man, this is why I love Texas. Pork rib. I remember these being really good. And they're actually using live oak, which is really interesting, at least on that big pit. And you can really taste that flavor on the pork rib. Definitely a lot different from that live oak. Like more of a kind of spice. Oh man, that is some damn good sausage. Even better than I remember. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here at Salt Lake, guys, and so we're in for a very awesome all-you-can-eat barbecue treat. So let's tune on in and let's get to it. Yeah, a lot of texture on that pork rib. So it's pretty straightforward, $30 all-you-can-eat brisket, ribs, sausage, coleslaw, beans, and potato salad. So I have lots of natural commentary in here, but I'll hop in and out throughout it. So let's get eating. That's the barbecue sauce, this is the normal, that's the spicy. I remember being like creamy, so I'll uh, give that a try as well. Here we have some coleslaw and we do have some beans. I remember this being like very vinegar based, so let's try that. Very simple celery seed, vinegar based. It really cuts that fat. Pretty mild, actually. It's more of that fatty 
brisket. Look at that. Look at that smoke break. Look at it just fall apart. Pork rib. So this pork rib is definitely a lot more uh, tender than the other last one we had. Very good. I'm super impressed by this sausage. Way better than I remember. What I love about these burnt ends, they're just so smoky. We got some more brisket. This is supposed to be the fatty portion, I believe. This looks pretty lean to me. Very tender. I was trying to pull it apart, but it's very hot. But what I would say is like in these portions, which again I call kind of a, a little more of a lean, they have a little bit of texture, but still very, very soft and like uh, not chewy, chill melt in your mouth. Definitely noticing though the difference in taste and flavor um, in the live oak compared to uh, thanks for the first Definitely notice the difference in the, the flavor and uh, from the live oak using the live oak in versus the more like uh, aged. What's that? Seasoned wood. But it is good, but definitely a different taste. Which I don't remember it being like that last time, but maybe it's just as like I've eaten more barbecue, I've got more familiar with the taste and flavors. That's what's going on. So I was definitely enjoying it. It was really interesting to cook with the live oak. Like I said, I'm not sure um, if it was just something I never noticed before or just now that I have a better understanding of it, but definitely like that young wood, you get that really almost burny, smoky, the back of your throat. Um, that being said, you know, there was, uh, you know, rib to rib, brisket, brisket was all different, but overall very delicious, um, was definitely enjoying it. And of course, again, I have more uh, commentary about the food to come. I got one of their iced teas as well, their famous iced teas. Um, and what I love about the tea, not only being in Texas, but they have a lemon in this one, and it's actually really, really nice. Very nice lemon iced tea. Man, these ones are so smoky. Taste that young wood. Ooh, like really almost burns the back of your throat. Another plate, some more of the uh, burnt ends, which like I said are definitely, definitely smoky. Like I said, you can definitely taste that young wood. Some more ribs, some more sausage. Man, that is damn good. Damn, damn, damn good. Like I said, you feel that in your, your mouth, the back of your throat. That young wood. Very smoky. Ooh. 
That one is very tender and juicy. Some of the ribs are a little bit more tender than others. The tender ones are just like 10 out of freaking 10. so tender. Some of them are the crispier outside than others. I like them with a little bit less than crispy, but man, that was a good bite. Some lean fatty brisket here. So the lean 
One thing I'm finding is some of the um, fatty pieces of the brisket. They don't really have much of the bark on it, so I find it like they're a little less smoky than any piece that has the bark on it, that makes sense. So I like it when it's a bit of both, because then you get that, you're also missing that salt, you know, the salt if you're not getting that bark. So just a little whatever, but still pretty damn good. Lots of food, lots of rich, look at those oil. I might probably take my hat off, it's starting to heat up, but I can't touch it with these. So I had to lose the hat, heating up a bit, lots of meat sweats, that's for sure. But, I cycle the plate of just straight burnt ends, so pretty, uh... Oh, man. Oh, man. It melts in your mouth like candy, meat butter. Man, that is what you need right there. Like I said, that bark, the nice bark, and then the extra fatty... Oh, oh. That one is like pure fat. Words you can't describe what that is like. That is like heaven. Definitely the burnt ends uh, were definitely my favorite item here today. Previously when we were at the other location, my favorite was the ribs. Um, it was interesting, like I said, I'm not sure if because they finish the meat here on that big pit with the live oak, if whether that changed it, but definitely I, I noticed a difference in taste from this original location to the Round Rock location. Uh, the Round Rock location to me didn't have that live oak that's kind of spiced to that. It was more just like, again, what I would say barbecue with a treated or like a, you know, an aged cured wood, seasoned wood. So that was really interesting um, that there's a little bit of difference in between. So I'm not really sure if, you know, the difference came from just the finishing on this particular pit or if maybe I just have a different memory. So this was the only location that did offer the all you can eat though, both are in the Austin area. So maybe I'll have to return to the other location one day when they do the all you can eat again. All right, we got some more ribs. And these are what I remember them looking like at that location. Really nice big pork ribs. Again, they are all like that side rib, that St. Louis cut. And then we have some lean brisket. like the plant, so it's a little more cooked than uh, a lot of the other pieces.
right, so we're into some more of the burnt ends, also the fatty brisket. Definitely the way to go. What's nice about the brisket is this time we got that nice crust on it. So like I said, that's where a lot of that flavor, that smoke, that salt's come in. So this looks fantastic. Start at 2.15, so I'm gonna eat in about an hour.
So finish off, got some okay. fatty brisket and some burnt end. I think that's about it, guys. We like okay. said, we've been eating for like about an hour and a half straight. I'm talking only a couple, only maybe minutes break overall. So we up a lot of food. So we were definitely filling up, but I will say we definitely got our money's worth. It was a great experience. It is good food, definitely a cool spot. Would definitely recommend stopping on by. So that guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Um, like I said, really cool place. We had so much barbecue. Um, again, very thankful for the hospitality, the experience. Texas is awesome. Again, both locations are in the Austin area. However, uh, this location is a bit more out of the city. However, really cool place, definitely worth checking out. Um, whether you just want to go check out the grounds, the vineyard, the, the you know, the whatever it may be, um, or have a bite to eat. Definitely a large venue. They have lots of seating. Um, in the busy days, sometimes they serve something like 5,000 people, which is insane. Of course, this Austin area is the most famous area to have Texas barbecue. It is the most famous Texas barbecue location um, just in the area. So let me know your favorite barbecue joint down below in the comments, and uh, let's compare. Steak, man. What do you say? Steak. It's good. I think it's time for college, but so. Uh, I think I'm going to build it every bit. Yeah, for sure. That's no dessert. <laughs> I think I'm better than Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Definitely got the best of us, for sure. I appreciate it. Uh, right back.
that's about that, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm very full. A lot of food. They are rich. It's been very good. But that's about that. Glad I finally got to come to the original Salt Lake location. It's really cool to see it. Um, turns out they actually do the cooking for the other location here as well. So, that one, hope you enjoyed the video. Of course, until next time, say happy, hungry, happy eating. And uh, as my guys like the video, let me know down below. Comment what's your favorite kind of barbecue. Mine is definitely brisket. I love beef. And uh, that's about it. So, uh, that's really it. Smash that like button, hit subscribe. Until next time, have a lovely day. So everyone, super cool experience at Salt Lake. It was a lot of fun. Um, definitely ate a lot of food. The gentleman did say that was the most he's ever seen somebody eaten, and he's worked there for 13 years. Uh, the place had been around for like 50, I think it said 50 years from the 60s, which is pretty cool. They did actually show me a little bit around like the back, like the cooking operation, which I'll show you now. Um, they obviously just have loads and loads of meat on hand at all times, which is pretty insane. What's really interesting as well is they actually do all the cooking there, um, not only again for like the, what they ship nationwide, but the other locations. So I mentioned I was at the Round Rock location before, um, and it is interesting that they actually do the main cooking in Driftwood, but they send it at Round Rock to get what they call, did classified or called finished off. Um, so yeah, which I, I am assuming basically just means reheated kind of on the big pit. Um, but yeah, overall, really, really cool. Uh, definitely enjoyed the experience. I'll show you those uh, clips of the, uh, the background and thanks for that. A lot of barbecue, that's for sure. I definitely got our money's worth, but no complaints. And uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. So hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. And here we're outside on the grounds. Very, very well decorated. Very pretty. Very beautiful spot filled with all kinds of decorative fixtures. This is what they would call over here the cellars as well. And again, a very beautiful place to either have some takeout or to enjoy some wine and beer. And you see the vineyard stretches vastly that way. Very beautiful seating outside here. A large, large, large array. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. So here we are getting a tour. They do everything by hand. You make the pie crust. Of course, got some pies. And then where the magic happens. Oh yeah. Lots of little decals there. Lots of burnt ends. Beautiful. Look at that, just gonna be all chopped up here soon. And he's saying that on like one of these smokers can hold like 70 some briskets, averaging like 10 pounds each. These things are uh, no joke. And just for comparison of how tall they are, they're literally integrated into the walls. And uh, you know, just the racking itself is you know seven, seven feet tall. You can see the uh, the fire blazing back there. It's all um, complete wood operated. Yeah. Yeah, wood operated. Yeah, they burn in the back. I'll just show you how big one of these is for perspective. These are giant, giant smokers. And then, you know, here we got some ribs. There's some briskets on there. We got some turkey breasts in there. Beautiful. Yeah, just come in here and flip them over. Tender and well, yeah? Oh, yeah. Amazing. And all, all live oak, right? Yes, sir, all live oak. Do so you guys do a basting while you're yeah. cooking them? Oh, yeah, while we're cooking with base. With the, the old signature sauce, right? Yes, sir. How would you describe the sauce? It's like it's like a creamy vinegar or a creamy yeah, mustard almost. Yeah, mustard, uh, mustard, sugar based vinegar. Uh, it's more of a like North Carolina. And here we are in Louisiana. We're coming up uh, maybe 40 miles from Baton Rouge, maybe 35, 40 miles. We got all the water here. Very, very beautiful. Uh, I don't know if this would be considered a I doubt it is this would be considered a bayou. I, I don't really know though. It's just the big, 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 big water. Um, like I said, Louisiana is, you know, and this is not a, a derogatory name like to say this, but it's, it's basically like a swamp. You know, like it's uh, it's just a lot of water, 
Uh, it is a lot of vegetation which is growing on the water, in the water. I mean, these roads are, as you can see here, they're on stilts. You know, down there is just water. So we're, we're you know, driving over water right now. And uh, yeah, it, it's, it's such a cool and unique place. So I really like Louisiana. Lots of very positive, positive um, memories, thoughts, and uh, I love it, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm not really going to stop here this trip, but it's good to be going through here again. I do love Louisiana. Some of the craziest, like, wildlife and animals I've ever seen in my life. Uh, but yeah, thank you, Louisiana. God bless you guys, especially everybody who's affected by the hurricane half recently. Um, that, you know, like, uh, it's, it's, it's crazy. You guys are very tough to live through that, you know, habitually. That, and that's a normal thing, you know, hurricane season, unfortunately, tearing up a lot of the properties. So, anyway, God bless you all. Be with you and, uh, you know, keep you keep in our thoughts and hope everything goes well. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.